Hey guys, I'm Master from Trail and Kale, and today I'm reviewing the Salomon Ultra Glide 2. That's these shoes here. So the Salomon Ultra Glide 2 is Salomon's Ultra running shoes. They are fairly plush, very plush by Salomon standards. Not hugely plush when you compare them to something like Hoka, the Mafat Speed 4, for example, which is a lot more plush. But they have a really nice happy medium uh, for being plush, but also having response. The toe box is also fairly wide for a Salomon running shoe, um, and I'm appreciating that. I do have average sized feet, but my feet or toes do tend to get a little bit bigger when I'm running in hot conditions, so having a toe box with a little bit of extra room allows my feet to swell a bit, expand as I'm working out harder. So I really like that. They've also got Salomon's very popular quick lace system. Uh, the previous version had that as well. And in general, I got on very well with the Salomon Ultra Glide that came before this. But I did have a couple of downsides. So I'm interested to see if Salomon has fixed them on this shoe. The first downside was that on the inside of the shoe, uh, at the end where the toe cap is on the inside, it was fairly solid. So when I was running down steep downhills, if there was any slip in my foot, my toes would kind of hit that solid part of the shoe. It wasn't particularly comfortable. The other issue was that I could feel the laces here on top of my foot. Because it's a really thin kind of lacing system with the quick lace, I could feel them through the tongue. Because uh, yeah, I just felt it around here, especially when I tucked the laces into this little stove pocket. So, I've been running for about two kilometers now. Uh, some flats on the road, so it feels very comfortable. And some uphill work, which I'm doing now. So far I can't feel those laces on top, so it looks like they've fixed that problem. One of my favorite things about the Salomon Ultra Glide was the grip, the contra grip on the outsole here. It was insane. So far, it feels like the outsole is very similar. Um, could well be the same in how it feels. The grip is awesome. So nice to see Salomon in the Ultra Glide 2. They've kept the outsole, uh, which is for mixed terrain. In fact, the whole shoe is for kind of any terrain you want to take it on, which is a huge selling point for many runners around the world because there's so many different types of trails and terrains out there. So they're going to suit a lot of people because of that. Some of the key specifications of the Ultra Glide 2 then. The shoe weighs 11.9 ounces. It's listed as lightweight on the Salomon website, but compare that to some of the premium S-Lab Salomon shoes and Hoka's premium range, for example. It's not hugely lightweight, but for a mid-range trail running shoe, it's pretty good. There is a six millimeter drop from heel to toe. Uh, it feels really nice on the trails. Uh, I feel like I'm connected to the trails with the midsole, the cushioning and the foam in there. There's just enough cushioning that I don't really feel any sharp rocks going my feet. I can feel that there. And that's good because I feel connected to the trails, um, but I don't feel any sharpness, so that's cool. The midsole also has a rocker silhouette, so that means the transition from foot landing to takeoff is nice and smooth because it's got that kind of rocker along the bottom, so it feels really good when you're running on the flats, which I've just done quite a lot of. Um, yeah, great momentum, great propulsion. Uh, so far, really enjoying it. Don't really have anything bad to say to her about it <laughs> so far, except for maybe the weight could be a little bit lighter. Um, but everything else, cushioning around the foot, 
this section here, um, breathable upper, the synthetic upper, um, it all feels really comfortable. So I reckon any aspiring ultra runner, uh, intermediate beginner runner who wants to get into ultra running or start uh, learning to run longer on the trails, these shoes are great, such a great choice for you. Uh, they're gonna feel very comfortable and just give you a really nice, fun experience on the trails. So I'm nearly at the top of my summit. There's about 300 meters of climbing on my local 10 kilometer loop, which I love to test trail running shoes on because the terrain is just so varied, so much going on. So I get to test the upper, the outsole, the midsole, everything on the shoes. Um, so when I reach the summit, I'll be heading back down and I'm gonna have loads of steep, fast downhill running. So we'll see how I get on with the Salomon Ultra Glide 2. Let's see what I like for that. Fingers crossed. By the way, if you are looking to run your first ultra marathon, I've written a super in-depth, detailed 50K training plan for you guys. Free to download, free to read. Definitely go check that out. There's a link up there if you're planning to run your first ultramarathon, 50k. Uh, you're gonna love that post. So much information in there. Secret race tips, strategies, from hydration to training to actually racing. So definitely go read that. Yes, Salomon Ultra Glide 2 are so much fun on the downhills and I fixed that problem when my toes were going into the front of the shoe. Um, my feet are just better locked into the midsole around here so there's no real slip going into the front of the sort of toe cap on the inside so so much better. Loving them on the downhills, they're fast and the cushioning's great. Uh, just having a lot of fun on trails right now, so Salomon, you've done a great job on the Ultra Glide 2. Man, the Ultra Glide 2 is a total beast on the downhills. So much fun. So much fun, I'm gonna close this video out now. Tell you my verdict, basically it's a thumbs up. Really love these shoes. Beginners, intermediates, anyone who's looking to run longer, up their distance, step into the ultra running scene. I'm gonna actually love these shoes, they're gonna love them. Um, good price point as well. Uh, but I'm gonna close out this review now so that I can enjoy my downhill run all the way back to my start point and if I get any final points on these shoes, I will add it to the end of a video. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you out on the trails for the next review. Okay.